Hey there, welcome to part two of 6.1, where we're talking about nth roots and, and rational exponents. In this video, we're going to be solving equations using, um, I don't know how you would say, nth roots, nth roots. You're doing roots of like, instead of square root, you're doing fourth root, third root, all that stuff. Um, so that's what's going on here. So let's, let's get started. I have 4x to the fifth equals 128. I'm gonna divide by four, divide by four. 128 divided by four is 32, so I have x to the fifth equals 32. So, normally you square root both sides, but there's a five there, not a two. So I'm gonna have to fifth root both sides. So I'm gonna get x equals two, and that's gonna be my final answer. Um, I put this note, remember if the root is even, then the answer will have a plus or minus with it. The root was odd, so the answer is just positive 2. But on part B, my answer is going to have a plus or minus with it. We're going to have to take the fourth root of each side, because it's in parentheses. The fourth root of 21 does not simplify. So I have x minus 3 equals plus or minus 4th root of 21, okay? And then I just add 3 to the other side. And I have my final answer is x equals 3 plus or minus the 4th root of 21. And that's it. All right, so we got 2 left. Um, why don't you just pause the video and, and work them out, otherwise I'm gonna keep going. So for this one, I have to divide by five before I can take the cube root. And 320 divided by five is 64. So I have x to the third power is 64. So I need to cube root both sides. And so I have x will equal 4. And it's not plus or minus because it was cube root and not fourth root or anything like that. For part d, very similar to part b, um, I need to fourth root the other side. And will the fourth root of 24 simplify to get anything? Uh, I, I don't think so. No, it won't. So x plus 3 equals plus or minus the fourth root of 24. And then look, it's the same number. I should have added a little variety. Oh wait, I guess I did. It's a negative three this time. So write that first, negative three plus or minus the square root of four. The fourth root of 24. That's what I'm supposed to say. That's the final answer. Cool, so that's all there is to it. Let's actually apply this um, to something, um, I don't know, more real worldy, And that's, um, here I have the volume of a sphere and a cylinder, and I have a missing radius. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug in everything. We know the volume of a sphere equals 4 thirds pi r cubed. So I'm gonna say that 216 equals 4 thirds pi r cubed. Well, you know 4 thirds and pi are a number, so you're gonna divide both sides by 4 thirds pi. So that's what you'll type in your calculator, 216 divided by 4 thirds pi. Just make sure you use parentheses, okay? Um, just to avoid any, um, any mistakes with the uh, order of operations. So when I do that, I get um, r cubed is equal to approximately 51.5662. Um, so I, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, since it's r cubed, I'm going to cube root both sides. So I just go to my calculator and I hit the control um, caret button and then I can cube root 
that answer, which is the control negative, and um, I get that R is approximately 3.722, and that's it. Um, let's do the other one, you know, and if you feel up to it, why don't you just pause it and, and work it out? Here's the volume of the cylinder formula. There's what I give you for the cylinder, but otherwise I'm going to keep going. Um, I'm going to write 1332 equals pi. Don't know what r squared is, but I know the height. That's good. That's 9. So what do you know? You know 9 pi. So just divide 1332 by 9 pi. Again, um, couldn't hurt to use parentheses, but the other one had a fraction, so definitely use parentheses if there's a fraction. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to type in 1332 divided by 9 pi, and I'm going to get about, let's see here, I have r squared that's left over, um, and I'll get about 464.956. So I'll hit control x squared to pull up the square root, because that's all I need to do. Um, and then I can do control negative, where it says A and S, that's your answer. Um, and I'll get R equals approximately um, 21.5, it says 5628, so I'll round that to 563. Um, on this, you know, so I'd say, hey, it's plus or minus. Um, because it's square rooting. But this is a real world problem. So can you tell me if you're, would it make sense to have a negative radius? No, it wouldn't. So it's not plus or minus since we're dealing with something that's, that's tangible. It's, it's, it's a, a cylinder. Um, so I'm just going to use the positive solution. And that's really it for, for the rest of these notes, is when you're solving, you're going to have to do, you know, fourth root or fifth root or third root or square root, something like that. And just remember to put the plus or minus if uh, the root is even, you know, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and so on. All right, thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.